Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It's a general read. It's not going to resonate with everyone, and that's okay. If you feel like you want to, or this doesn't resonate with you, even if it does, you may want to go ahead and check out your other signs, and that's okay, too. I definitely encourage it. Um, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for allowing me to connect with you. Thank you for your support, and give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down, whatever. Interact with the channel. It's all good. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. One more deck here to shuffle um, February 8th, I'm sorry, yeah, February 8th to February 15th, your love reading Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to pull these cards, I'm going to call them out for you as I pull them, and then I'm going to show them to you <clears throat> as I read them. We're going to clarify and we're going to pull some other cards dealing with advice and so forth. So let's get it cancer <clears throat> six of swords upright queen of wands upright the sun in the reverse position mm, a lot of things that want to be said that aren't being said the way your cards are coming out empress upright ace of swords reverse position Hmm. Seven of Cups, reverse position, overall energy, the temperance, okay? So you've got some Leo energy coming out for you, some Sagittarius energy, you've got lots of fire. I hate calling that out, but I do it because that's what people want. I wouldn't read too much into it. Could be anybody and just the energy of not necessarily the person with that sun sign. Let's not think in a box, people. Okay, so temperance um, is your overall energy. I feel cancer, like you're either after balance, you're gaining balance, you're, you're handling things and even accepting things and doing things in moderation. You're getting some uh, form of structure possibly back to your life, especially with your love life. There does seem to be temperance uh, deals with reconciliation. So overall, you may be reconciling with someone, have an urge or a want overall to reconcile with someone. Remember in these readings, energy is fluid and interchangeable. I'm reading from the perspective of cancer. It could be someone that you're dealing with. Take the energy and storyline put it where it fits for you if it fits at all okay also um mm -mm. i'm gonna leave that alone for now yeah i'm gonna leave that alone for now okay six of swords um first card out here I feel like you're working through some things. There's if you, if you are in a relationship, it's likely been a little bit rocky. There's been some things that have been said, some things that have been thought, whatever it is. I feel like you're working through it. You're trying to get to the other side. Now, whether or not that's going to work out, it is what it is. Um, you'll see <clears throat> when you get there. You've got the Queen of Wands in the upright here. Cancer, very uh, independent, very um, look at me, maybe not in a bad way. Um, some of you may be dealing with this Queen of Wands energy. Some of you may have a person that's very independent, very seductive, very sexy, very um, bachelor, bachelorette vibes. Um, it is what it is. This could be you. You could be sending out these vibes, especially if you are single or portraying yourself as single. However, the sun coming in the reverse position, I feel like this is not where you want to be. It's very much, it's very likely that many of you are missing someone because I am getting a strong sense of reconciliation, but I don't feel like it's come to fruition yet. <clears throat> I feel like it wants to. I feel like you want it to but not necessarily. I feel like you're maybe missing someone. And also people may see you as uh, single, even if you're not trying to portray yourself that way, okay? But you do have what it takes. You're standing on your own. You're exerting, exu exu I don't know that word. It's not exerting, I don't know that word. Um, you're 
showcasing, we'll say, your, your beauty, okay? It is what it is. You've also got the Empress here, okay? So you're sitting on your throne. You're, you've got Temperance, Queen of Wands, and Empress out here in the upright. Whether you are a man or a woman, it makes no difference. You or the person that you are dealing with, and this is not necessarily a person that you're in a romantic relationship with. This could just be your interest. Whoever you clicked on this video for, whatever you were looking for, this is what it is, this is here it is, and this is what it's about, okay? So the Empress um, is coming through for major, like, manifestation, abundance, okay? With that Six of Swords, I feel like you could very possibly, if you are having a bit of a rocky moment, especially, mm, so there's a number of you here that have had uh, some words with someone that you feel is now kind of making themselves available for other people. It's not necessarily the case. It's not necessarily not the case because for some of you, it's very much the case. Nonetheless, you're you're good. You're going, if, if this truly is what you want, if you truly want a reconciliation, if you truly want to work through this, if your heart is really in it, I feel like you're going to be fine. You're going to manifest that. Others of you may be wanting to start a family with this person, viewing this person either as the mother or the father of your children or children to come. The Ace of Swords in the reverse position, I feel like you're very confused about this Queen of Wands energy coming out here. You're confused as to whether or not you want to be single. You're confused as to whether or not this person is portraying themselves as single, whatever this is, you're confused. And if you are single, you're confused as, yeah, like, what do you want that? Do you even want that? Do you want a relationship? What's going to make you happy? I do feel like there's some confusion, some uncertainty, and some indecision revolving around um, your long-term relationships, okay? With the Seven of Cups in the reverse position here, I feel like you're getting some very, very cold, hard reality checks. The universe is not being very nice to you right now when it comes to your romantic relationships and it doesn't need to be because these need to be hard hitting so that you will I'm hearing ingest them better okay let's get some clarifiers out here for you cancer ten of wands hello hi ten of cups yeah Ten of Cups in the reverse. The Devil, I'm sorry, the Tower, I'm sorry. My apologies. It's the Tower, not the Devil, in the upright. The Ten of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles in the reverse position. The Page of Cups in the reverse position. And the Page of Wands in the reverse position. I'm, I'm itching suddenly, like behind and underneath my right ear. I feel like someone, like there's been some conversations about you possibly. You're having conversations about another. Like my ears are itching and ringing, you know, they're kind of burning. Someone's talking about me kind of energy. And also um, not liking maybe what you're hearing or what you're being presented with. It's an uncomfortable itch. Like uh, it's, it's a nag, it's a gnat, it's a it's uh it's annoying okay so i feel like the energy or the information that you or your person has been presented with is not necessarily something that they want to deal with or something that they want to hear okay with this page of wands here in the reverse position over this temperance i feel like you may be dealing with someone that doesn't necessarily care about you the way that you thought they did or the way that they used to even or you may not care about them as much as they wanted you to or as much as you must once thought you did okay so the reconciliation seems to be a little bit up in uh jury's out on that one <laughs> yeah someone's not voicing it someone's not saying it if you miss someone tell them that you miss them if you want to see them tell them that you want to see them Closed mouths don't get fed because the page of wands in the reverse position is giving me uh, no potential vibes. And it, I believe it is because what I am feeling is someone is not saying it. You're not you're not showing up. You're not saying it. You're not voicing it. You're not presenting it. And so how are they to know? Okay. You have the Ten of Wands here with this Six of Swords. So 
there may be a lot of weight on you in order to get to from point A to point B. You may have a lot of responsibility on your plate and this is obviously going to affect your romantic life. But also someone here is either wanting you to take more responsibility or you're wanting them to take more responsibility for actions and words that have been said in the past and even actions and words that weren't said, especially when you're getting this energy over that temperance. Like, well, you didn't say that. How am I supposed to know? I'm not a mind reader. Like, whatever, whatever, okay? Then you've got the Queen of Wands here with the Ten of Cups. So you've got a few scenarios that this could play out in too. Someone is really, really not happy being single, but also doesn't want to work for it. Okay. And also someone isn't comfortable with a person being away from them, but also doesn't want to bring them closer. So, I mean, like, what do you want? And I don't know if this is you or the person that you're dealing with. It could be either one and it could very much be both. Okay. Then you've got the tower over the sun in reverse. So you're not happy with the situation and you're having a, you've had and are continuing to have some major tower moments in this particular relationship or love interest. The foundation is just not there and it needs to fall. I'm hearing jump ship. Um, and someone even may very well feel like they dodged a bullet in this particular scenario, especially if they were trying to start a family with you or you were trying to start a family with them, okay? I feel like someone here, for some of you, really feels like this person could be your person. You really, really feel that. This is the person of your dreams. This is the person that you know would be responsible enough to start a home with, to maintain a home with, to build a home with. This person very much could complete that unit for you, whatever that unit looks like for you. This person is believed by one, both, or one or the other, um, to have what it takes to be in this space. However, with the Nine of Pentacles in the reverse position and the Eight of Swords, one or both people are very confused about this space, very confused about the compromise that it would take, okay? Someone here um, is doesn't really understand the work that it takes. They're outright just being lazy, as I'm seeing it, or you're being lazy, or it could even be not just necessarily like just lazy to be lazy because you don't want to put in the work. It could be it could there could be some fear surrounding this okay when you've got the page of cups in the reverse coming over the seven of cups in the reverse the reality is one of these offers may be just off the table especially coming with the sun in the reverse and the and the the tower like that coming over it uh this is just so okay one person wants this maybe both people wanted this but the reality is there's nothing being put into it. The offer doesn't stand. There's not enough there. There's not enough of an offer either for one or both of these people. Is the potential there overall theoretically? Yes. But the amount of work and honesty that that would take, I don't see one or both people actually being honest and, and putting that work, effort, and communication um, forward. Okay. So let's get some... And again, this is general. It's not going to resonate with everyone. But there's definitely some changes happening. And for others of you, there could be some major accountability and responsibility that needs to be had by you or your partner in order to kind of work through this and, and let this change happen let these things fall away uh let even like some of you may be losing a house some of you may be losing a job whatever it is these things have to happen and conversations need to be had and old ways need to fall away in order to bring about this ten of pentacles and empress energy okay so for it's not like an it's not just a lost cause for some of you especially those of you that really 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 want this reconciliation Okay, um, but there is a major reality check happening here. There, it, it's it's not going to work unless you, it, you need more than just to want. Okay, new beginning. A new adventure awaits. Embrace it and live your dreams passionately, whether this is a new beginning with someone, a reconciliation, or if it's just a new re new beginning and a new relationship overall. For many of you, I'm getting the second version of that, okay? Not all of you, but many of you, okay? A message for you, okay? So if you are in separation with your person, a message for you, I'm thinking of you this very moment. Your love fills me with light. I love you. Okay, hopefully that's enough to carry it through. And I say that not to be pessimistic, but 
you need more than love. You need compromise. You need compassion. You need acceptance. You need, you need effort. You need time. You need work. You need commitment. It's not enough to just say that you love someone and then do nothing with it. Um, hopefully, you'll want to work towards this. But at the, at the end of the reading, the reality is I'm seeing this offer being taken off the table or the cup not being fooled or filled. <sighs> Somebody got fooled. Somebody got fooled. And maybe you fooled yourself. Maybe someone fooled you. Maybe you fooled someone. Let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. And your love life is being affected by children. Someone really, really wants children. And then flirt, extend your light heart. See, and that's the thing I'm not seeing in this reading. I'm sorry. I'm not seeing it. I don't care if you've been with someone for 40 years. You need to still flirt. It's imperative. It is imperative to continue to flirt, to continue to slap each other on the ass and grab each other in inappropriate places in the kitchen or in the grocery store. Or do you know what I mean? It's important to keep that spice alive. No matter how many children you have, no matter how many control issues you have, no matter how long you've been together, no matter how secure you feel, it's important to keep that alive. And I do not see that in this reading. And that doesn't mean that it doesn't exist. And that doesn't mean that you can't get back there, but it does mean that it will take work. And maybe you'll be able to take this upcoming place uh, space, holiday, whatever, and maybe, you know, put a little bit of that back in there, but maybe not. Maybe it's time to just let go altogether. Maybe not. We'll see. Growth. What I say? It's going to take a lot of growth. It's going to take a lot of maturity. Okay. And friendship. I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason. Someone has to understand what these two people, it's not that there's not love here. There's love here. There is love here. 100%. But there needs to be growth. There needs to be an expansion of consciousness, an expansion of, of I'm hearing notability and accountability and nobility also is coming through. There needs to be honor in this space. Someone is needs to be, I feel like someone is not proud of either who they are or who they are with. And that's also very important. Okay. But also there needs to be a friend, like you have to, your person should be a form of a friend. So if you're not even giving them what you would give your friends, like, what are we doing? Let me give this um, a quick shuffle here and also want to pull from this other deck. Let's see, what's, let's do this one first. Sensitivity. The situation is definitely sensitive and that's because there's so much love here. And projection. You have one or both people projecting emotions and even faults on the other one or both of these people have extreme spiritual gifts one literally uses because I'm, I'm seeing the scrying mirror as like not a metaphor like legit someone scries someone uses scrying divination um so there's that <laughs> i just split the deck to get the seven of cups in the reverse position again to clarify this page of wands in the reverse position and the reconciliation this is the reality this is the reality of the situation like let's be practical it's not enough also someone here has got their eye on something else if you leave somebody out there for too long and you're not giving back you're not giving them anything you know it doesn't matter how you feel if you're not speaking up if you're not showing them and if you're not showing up you cannot expect people to just wait around on you okay so let's go ahead and get into this one the ace of pentacles new opportunity love it six of pentacles 
The opportunity comes when you choose to put in the work and the effort that the other person has put in or both of you choose to come to an agreement where you both want to put into the relationship or whatever. But there is an opportunity here. There is hope for sure. And there is love. No question about that. But the Ten of Swords, there may be too much holding you down, either financially responsible, like just overall obligations in life. Life happens. OK, there may be too much holding you down there and there may be someone that actually squanders this opportunity and there may be too much deceit and deception happening for this opportunity to take place you can't just say that you're going to give someone something and then not do anything with it again i am going to clarify where are we at okay the reading wasn't supposed to be this long but i'm going to clarify these just i really want to clarify this ten of swords because with the ace of pentacles coming out the six of pentacles coming out and then the ten of swords i'm going to clarify this ten of swords magician King of Wands and the Three of Cups. Someone is trying to juggle other suitors, other possibilities, probably still portraying themselves as single. And even if you are, if okay, so here's the thing. If someone is in a committed relationship and they're still talking to other people or giving the other people the impression, whether they act on it or not, they're still giving the other people the impression that they're single, bump that. Bump that you deserve better and they deserve better if you're the one doing it to them, okay? Because someone here is definitely still playing around. However, there is someone here that's actually been with other people. However, there's another situation here where someone, they continue to manifest opportunities that can bring them what they want and they don't want to be single. They really, there's potential in love here in this relationship. It's serious and it could be solid. And they continue to manifest opportunities and wiggle their way back in, back up, back over, whatever it is. However, when it gets to the point of taking action and actually committing to the situation and showing something, they drop the ball every time with the king of wands in the reverse position. Okay, but they continue to manifest this reconciliation energy. They continue to manifest this celebration, but it never follows through. They always fall short. So if there's someone like consistently standing you up or someone just, just however they're not showing up to the situation, that's what this Ten of Swords is. So it's not necessarily someone that's cheated or deceived or lied in a manipulative way per se, but they, they never follow through with what they say they're going to do. They say you know, we're going to work it out. We're going to, we're going to buy a house. We're going to live together. We're going to have a family, whatever it is, whatever it is they say, they never follow through with it. They're going to make more of an effort. They're going to take you out. They're going to, it doesn't matter. Whatever it is, they never follow through. King of Swords. You're being asked to take a logical approach to this particular energy and situation. If this is resonating with you. And I mean, I don't know, just handle it from there. I love you all so much. Thank you for joining me and I will see you next time.